is your goal to land a job, job or promotion and how can you demonstrate your top skills so well that you can stand out from other candidates and get paid what you deserve? So in this video, I will show you what other top international candidates did and the tool that they used to get headhunted by international employers by using their unique career niche that demonstrated their immense value in the job market. I'm not sure if you've heard about the career niche yet. And I'll give away my niche navigator tool that I use with my top candidates to uncover their career niche and help them become more valuable so that they can be approached by employers or land that promotion that they desire. If you don't know who I am, my name is Aralsi and I'm an international career strategist and career coach. And during the last six years, I have one-on-one -on -one helped over 300 people land their top jobs internationally without applying for job ads online and mostly from a distance. And in every single video from me, you can expect one tip, one trick, one strategy that you can implement immediately after watching and also land your top role locally or internationally without applying for those jobs online that just gets you rejections, right? So let's dive into my computer and I'll show you what I mean with a career niche. Now, like I say, a career niche sets you apart. And this here on my screen is what I call my niche navigator. This is the checklist or the questionnaire or the tool that I use with my VIP clients and my elite career mentor clients to help them identify their career niche. And what we then do is we use that to set them apart, to demonstrate their value, to make them come across more valuable to overseas or even local employers and to get them approaches or shoulder taps. We want to be headhunted. We don't want to apply for jobs online. This is the tool to help us identify that thing that makes them stand out. So if you want to find your career niche, you need to find the thing that you're really good at and then utilize that to skyrocket your value in the market, like I said. So understanding that is crucial to making you absolutely differentiate yourself in the job market. And the job market is very saturated, very busy right now. A lot of people with a lot of switched on things happening. So how are you going to be different? How are you going to rise above other people with a good CV? That's where you use your unique value proposition. You can also call it your career niche. So with this tool, I'm going to give this tool away. So if you want this tool, drop me a comment below this video, wherever you're watching it, in Facebook and LinkedIn and YouTube, and I'll shoot this over to you in Messenger or a message or email or whatever. I'll get this over to you and you can go and use it for yourself. I'll also show you some examples of exactly how to use this. Now, there's a couple of ways to do this. And what I've done here, I'm going to work through this tool with you a little bit and just show you some ways of doing it. Then I'm show you, I'll show you some examples. Use a couple of ways to identify your career niche. Now, it's very difficult for me to do this here because I'm, I'm not working with someone one-on-one. -on -one, but if you do it one-on-one -on -one with yourself or even use someone else to do it with, then it will be easier. Number one is self-reflection assessments. So... Look at your past experiences. Look at what you've done in your work. Look at your projects, your improvements. List them. You know, if you have a number of projects you've worked on, if you have a number of accolades, if you have things where you played a pivotal role, go and list them. And then once you've got a list of them, write them out in the format of STAR. Situation, task, action, result. And that gives you a framework to tell the story of your achievements or your really good work or your projects or whatever. And that is what you're going to use to differentiate yourself. Now, once you do this exercise, you will find that there's something common that comes across and it's some thing, some skill, some competency, something that makes you unique within your occupation. It's not just one um, occupation that you're good at, but it's within your occupation. You're good at some competency, some skill. I'll give you some examples of this in a minute. So what was it? Analyze this, like I say, analyze this, write these things out and get to the point of, oh, I'm really good at this thing because I've been involved in these projects, playing a pivotal role, and I'm also getting this feedback from my manager or from colleagues or from my employer. So feedback is another way of gauging something and figuring out something that you're really good at. So look at the feedback that you've received as well. And then once you've done this, go through that introspective um, exercise of 
what is your unique strength what is your superpower what is the thing that you absolutely excel at and then for that one thing use a number of examples and that's the examples that will get you to the point of where you can become more valuable in the market there's a long way between figuring that out and using it and showcasing it and i can't do that on that video um, unfortunately i'll show you some examples but i can't do it for you here but i'm just trying to get you to figure it out to find that one thing that differentiate you and then use that now be careful between skills and competencies and strengths right skills competencies and strengths are different things i'm not going to tell you exactly what they are i'm not going to bore you with the details you can go and google it if you want to but a strength is some unique quality something that you can do that makes you or how you actually a strength is something as a behavior it's a way in which you operate that makes you different or makes you stand out or makes you more valuable a skill is something that you've learned to apply to achieve something that's completely something different so just be aware of those different things now i will jump back into my other um other um, presentation here and just give you some examples i really want to stress that it doesn't matter in which industry sector niche occupation whatever you are there's something that you're good at and everyone has that everyone is good at something i am really really good at working with people one-on-one -on -one, at gauging what they want to achieve and how to get them there that's my superpower i'm really proud of that too and it is your superpower is something different and every one of us have a superpower has a superpower has something that makes us valuable and that the market will pay for so you've got to find that and make yourself rise above everyone else who's just mediocre or not just mediocre but don't know how to use that to get paid better and this is what this tool does so let me show you some examples so if we go back on my screen here i'll show you an example of france france is an ict pro program manager so moved up from project manager to program manager now program manager means that he manages the teams that runs projects right because a program is bigger than projects but france has a unique value proposition a unique career niche and that career niche within his ICT project management skill or program management skill is working with very large projects or programs in very large organizations. That makes him different to the ordinary person who is a project or a program manager. Makes sense? So his, his real career niche is working with very large projects and very large organizations. So when he looked for his top role in New Zealand, that's what he did. He targeted companies and organizations who were large, big ones, and he showcased, demonstrated his career niche inside project management, how he runs large projects and programs. Does it all make sense for you? Okay, so that's just one example. So if you look at his profile, you can see here that in his LinkedIn profile and everywhere where he's talking about himself and what he does, he gives quantifiable information of scope and impact. In other words, saying this is how big the things are that I do and that I'm involved in, right? Money, how big dollar wise it is, how many of these um, organizations are involved. So if you go through here, you'll see that he's worked through um, a uh, care on digitization <laughs> project of 49 hospitals that's huge it's massive giving the scope and the impact of what he's capable of and if you scroll further you'll see that he's actually got some projects here which he gives the value of and this is just a succinct examples here but in his projects in LinkedIn you can read more information of how big the projects are so all about him is I run big projects for big organizations. That's my career niche. Does it make sense? So this is France. Another um, person here, quickly as an example, is Wayne. Wayne is a um, construction specialist, right? He's in construction. He does cement works, but he specializes in cement works in construction. He's not just a construction foreman. 
It says construction site foreman, but he's a concreting specialist. He knows everything there is to know about concrete and cement. Um, I don't know anything about that, but that's his unique career niche. Now, like Franz, Wayne Crom came from a different country into New Zealand, had several job offers within a very short period of time, because why? He showed his unique value proposition his unique skill his career niche to the companies who specialized in that so he went very niche very specific i also want to say this while i'm at this point specialists get paid better than generalists so become a specialist and show your expertise and you will always win you'll always be in front of the job queue you'll always get paid better but you must demonstrate your specialization you can't just say i'm this you have to demonstrate it so what uh, wayne did is he created a portfolio right showing his specialist skills in concreting and um, works of cement work so he showed where he uses his specialist paving concreting work in different ways and that obviously he put in front of the right employers who who are looking for people like that not just anyone not just any building contractor concreting companies who are willing to pay for that specialist skill so this is his portfolio here so there you have an example of how people are using the unique career niche the value proposition whatever you want to call it to rise above others to get paid better to land the jobs these guys like many others that i work with never applied for jobs online they got shoulder tapped they got headhunted because they took their career niche made it in a demonstration and put it in front of curated search targeted employers who wanted them and got shoulder tapped by those employees so we have dozens and dozens even maybe hundreds of examples like that that is the no new way of work that is how to get ahead without applying for jobs online so if you want the tool that i use to uncover like i just shown you to uncover this thing and you want to work through it by yourself and then create your own career niche or unique value proposition let me know and i'll drop this tool for you in uh, let me know in a comment put a comment below this video and i'll drop that tool for you in messenger or wherever you want it and you can use that so that is the benefit of using this you become more valuable you become more visible you get approached by employees like these guys have hit hunted instead of applying online and you stand out and you make more money because you get paid better well, who doesn't want more money right good so i hope you enjoy i hope you enjoyed this video and if you want me to make more like this tell me drop a comment below this video tell me what else you want to see do you want to see how to use your career niche and demonstrate it do you want to see me telling you how to demonstrate it to to find this thing and then demonstrate it tell me in a comment below this video and i will make another video for you like it and i'll send it to you i hope you enjoyed this one until next time take care